For the soul there is never birth nor death, nor having once been does he ever cease to be. He is unborn, eternal, ever existing, undying, and primable. He is not slain when the body is slain. So, in different ways, uh, Krishna is trying to convince us how the soul is immortal. Uh, different ways. Jainang, Jainang when there is fight, uh, so if one is killed, or, so Krishna says that if one thinks that this man has killed this man, so, uh, or this man can kill this man, this kind of knowledge, he is not perfect. Nobody kills nobody. Then the butchers, they may say that, then why you do complain that you are killing? The killing, the body. But you cannot kill when there is injunction, thou shalt not kill. That means you cannot kill the body without sanction. You cannot kill. Although the soul is not killed, the body is killed, still you cannot kill the body without sanction. That is sinful. For example, that a man is living in some apartment, so somewhere or other you drive him away from that, illegally you drive him away. So the man will go out and will take shelter somewhere. That's a fact. But because you have driven him away from his bona fide position, you are given. You cannot say, Although I have driven away, he will get some place. No, that's all right. But you have no power to drive him away. He was in his legal position to live in that apartment, and because we have forcibly driven him away, you are king. You should be punished. So this argument, the butchers, or the animal killers, or any kind of killer. They cannot put argument that here Bhagavad-gītā says that soul is never killed. Nāharnate hannavāne sarīre, even after destroying the body. So why you are complaining that you are killing? So this is the argument. that. You cannot even kill the body. That is not allowed. That is simple. Uvautavna vijanita nāya hanti nahannate. So nobody kills anybody, neither anybody is killed by other. This is one. Again, in a different way, Krishna says, Najayat, the living entity, never takes birth. The birth is of the body, or the death is of the body. Living entity, the spiritual spark, then that being Krishna's part and parcel, 
as Krishna does not take birth, does not die, ajopi sanditi abhyātmā is find in the fourth chapter. Ajopi, Krishna is ajā. Ajā means who never takes birth. Similarly, we being part and parcel of Krishna, we also never take birth. The birth and death is of this body. And we are so absorbed in the bodily concept of life that when there is birth or death of the body, we feel the pains and pleasures. There is no pleasure, of course, uh, birth and death. It is very painful because, that is already explained, the consciousness of the soul is spread all over the body. Therefore, the uh, pains and pleasures uh, felt on account of the body. Uh, so Krishna has already advised that such kind of pains and pleasure, matras parsas the kontya, uh, touching the skin only, uh, one should not be very much bothered. In this way, if we think about our position, self-realization, how we are different from the body. Actually, this is meditation. If we think very seriously about ourselves and about the body, that is self-realization. Self-realization means I am not this body, I am Aham Brahmasmi, I am spirit soul. That is self-realization. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama.